The jury in Lori Vallow Daybell's murder trial sat through more graphic testimony today. Vallow was charged with murder, conspiracy to commit murder, and grand theft in the deaths of two of her kids, JJ and Tylee, and her current husband's late wife, Tammy Daybell. Our Shira Matsuzawa was at the courthouse for the trial. There was a lot of emphasis on the expert witnesses today, but it comes after yesterday's graphic testimony in court. We caught up with JJ's grandparents earlier today. Take a listen. We had an extremely depressing evening, night. It's been very hard on Kay. She has been very emotional, but, uh, you know, we continue on. And we, we look forward to hearing what is to be said by all the experts. It just adds to the, the, the uselessness of this murder, of these murders. Tammy Daybell's sister, Samantha William, took the stand just 20 minutes before court ended for the day. She said she and Tammy were close. She said Chad called her the morning Tammy passed away and told her she had been very sick and coughing, which Samantha says didn't make sense because she saw Tammy two weeks before and she wasn't sick. She said there were also some unusual moments leading up to the months before Tammy died. Samantha says she noticed a change in Tammy and Chad's relationship in June of 2019. That's when she said they were visiting and something seemed off. They were very awkward and Chad wouldn't converse with her husband like they normally did. Then in July, Tammy showed up to give her a birthday present and she didn't know they were in town. Chad stayed in the car and never came inside, which Samantha says was weird. That's where her testimony ended for the day. Another big takeaway came from Idaho State Police forensic scientist Tara Martinez, who testified about analyzing latent fingerprints found on the plastic bag around JJ's body. She says two fingerprints matched Alex Cox, Lori Vallow's brother. Cox died in December of 2019 from what was deemed natural causes. The ISP forensic laboratory manager also testified about making DNA profiles for JJ and Tylee. ISP forensic biologist Catherine Days talked about testing tools from Chad Daybell's property and finding DNA samples that match Tylee. She says she found positive blood stains in what could be charred flesh on some of those items. The state also called Rexburg Police Detective Chuck Consitis back to the stand. He was in Chad Daybell's backyard on June 9th of 2020, the day the kids' remains were found. Today, he talked about obtaining satellite images of Daybell's backyard. The court then looked at photos, one from September 9th, the day investigators believed Tylee was killed. The detective pointed out a large discolored area in the photo from Chad Daybell's backyard. He says it was taken at 12.32 in the afternoon, less than one hour after police say Alex Cox left the property. And Tammy's sister is expected to be back on the stand tomorrow morning. Court is also expected to end early around 1.30 in the afternoon. At the Ada County Courthouse, Shira Matsuzawa, Idaho's News Channel 7. For a comprehensive breakdown of testimony in court today, head over to KTVB.com. And don't forget, a new episode of Inside the Courtroom is available on KTVB Plus or the KTVB YouTube page.